Hello second graders and welcome to Skills Block Day 47. Setting purpose from engagement text to decodables. Our learning targets for the day. I can tell what I learned from the text dino sized. Using evidence from the text, I can answer questions about the text dino size. I can read high frequency words and I can read the, the decodable text, animals big and small. Gather round together, together, together. It's time to hear a story, a story, a story. It's time to hear a story and say what you've learned. Listen carefully as I read this text dino-sized. After I'm finished reading, you'll retell the main points to somebody at home and answer a couple questions about it. Dino-sized. Some dinosaurs were giants, the largest animals that ever lived on land. But some were the size of animals we see today, and some were even smaller than you. Plant-eating triceratops was shorter than T-Rex, but probably weighed more. Some scientists think it was nearly twice as heavy as T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus rex weighed as much as four giraffes. One of the biggest meat eaters, it leaned forward when it walked. When it stood up, it was taller than a giraffe. The biggest dinosaurs were plant eaters who had long necks and walked on four legs. Barosaurus was longer than two big school buses. Corythorosus could walk on two legs or four. When it stood up, it was about as tall as a giraffe. Compsogunthus was one of the smallest dinosaurs. It weighed about as much as a big chicken. Giraffes are the tallest animals walking on earth today. They're almost as tall as a two-story house. A five-year-old kid could lie down in a T-Rex's mouth and have room to spare. Now it's time to think about what you learned from our engagement text. Take a moment and share with somebody at home some of the big things that you learned. Great job. So let's talk a little bit about the text. What type of text is this? That's right, it's a nonfiction or an informational. How did you know? Because it had real information and facts. What is the purpose of this text? To describe different dinosaurs. Great job. The text starts by saying plant eating triceratops was shorter than T-Rex, but probably weighed more. Some scientists think it was nearly twice as heavy as T-Rex. What does the word nearly mean? Nearly twice as heavy. Nearly means almost. Great job. It was almost twice as much as T-Rex. What was nearly twice as heavy as T-Rex? Great job, the Triceratops was nearly twice as heavy as T-Rex, even though it was shorter. The text says that the giraffe is almost as tall as a two-story house. What does two-story mean? That there are two floors or two levels. In the text, it says that a five-year-old kid could lie down in a T-Rex's mouth and have room to spare. What does have room to spare mean? That's right, it means to have extra room or extra space. So if a five-year-old kid could lie down in a T-Rex's mouth, there would still be extra space in the T-Rex's mouth. That is terrifying to think about. Talk about these questions with somebody at home. Not all the answers come directly from the text, so you'll have to think about how you knew the answer. Why do you think the largest dinosaurs were plant eaters? 
and why do you think the dinosaurs became extinct? Talk about it with somebody at home. It's time to grapple baby, grapple baby, grapple baby, grapple baby. Is it a snap or trap word? Think about it and back it up. Think about it and back it up. Is it a snap or trap word? It's going to be hard, but think about it and make a start. We know some words can be hard to read and spell because they don't look and sound like they should. We call those words words that don't play fair. Today, we're going to look at words like this and figure out what makes them hard to read and spell. We have our list of snapper trap words. Animal, between, favorite, heard, let's, that's. All of these words are high frequency words, which means we see them a lot when we read and we use them a lot when we spell. Some of them are regularly spelled. They play fair. Some of them are irregularly spelled, so they don't play fair. We'll figure out which ones should go in the trap column, words that don't play fair, and which ones should go in the snap column, words that do play fair. Let's look at our first word, animal. Think about this word, animal. Do you think it's a snap or a trap word? That's right. Animal is a snap word because it's spelled just as it sounds. It follows the spelling patterns that we know. Let's look at some more. As I say the word, I want you to say the word out loud and practice spelling it correctly. Between. Between. Heard. Heard. Favorite. Favorite. Let's. Let's. That's. That's. Great job with our snap or trap words. Now you will read a story, a story, a story. Now you will read a story with words that you know. First we read the text together, Dino Size. Now we will read a related text, Animals Big and Small. The text is filled with words that you can read. There are decodable words and there are words that don't play fair. After we finish reading it, we'll look for some of our high frequency words. Animals big and small. There are numerous animals living on the earth. So numerous, it would be ridiculous to try to count them all. Some of the animals are very small. Some are enormous and some are sort of in between. Let's learn about some of the smallest and largest of each. A blue whale is the smallest animal on earth. It's monstrous. It can be as heavy as 180 tons. That's bigger than a bus. And a blue whale's heart can be as heavy as a car. One of the smallest animals is the gold frog. Are you curious how small it is? A gold frog is not even a centimeter long. That's about the size of a fingernail. The next enormous animal can be found in, in Africa and at the zoo. Did you guess it? Right, the fabulous African elephant. Elephants can stand as tall as 13 feet. That's taller than a basketball hoop. Have you ever heard of a slender blind snake? These reptiles are very skinny and only about 11 centimeters long and have very tiny eyes. They look and act more like a worm than a snake. They are not poisonous or dangerous. Have you ever heard of a tremendous bird called an ostrich? The ostrich is the biggest bird on earth. This bird is also famous for being very fast. An ostrich's wings help it to run even faster, but they do not help it fly. You learned about some of the biggest animals and some of the smallest. The earth is also full of many other animals in between, like the fabulous octopus or the whiskey walrus. What is your favorite animal? Great reading. 
Now let's take a look at some of your high frequency words. Animal, between, favorite, heard, that's great job. Now it's your job to reread animals big and small over and over again, practicing your fluency. Let's reflect on our learning. What does it mean to be independent? What knowledge and skills do you have now that you did not have earlier in the year? What does it mean to be an independent reader? And how did you acquire that knowledge or skill? Great job today, second graders. We'll see you again tomorrow.